everyone, Nicole Cordovas here and welcome back to my channel. And today is a very, very grand day because we are with Roberta Angela Tamondong, Pilipini Filipinas Grand International 2022. Hello everybody, it's nice to meet all of you. I'm super happy to be here at Nicole. Finally, we ulit tayo. Oh, oh. And on a one-on-one -on -one setup naman mm -hmm. this time because it's always groups of girls. Lang. Groups, yeah. Yeah. And grab it. You have a glow this time, ma. Yeah, yeah. So bright, fresh. <laughs> Parang you look like you got to rest and relax yeah. after the Binibini Filipinas competition. Because mm -hmm. parang ang dami activities this year. Yes, this year and dami. Pero after the coronation night, we went straight to work. Three weeks kami nag media tour, mm. and also after that. We went to like trainings and ano like I'm just gonna take my time off na lang paminsan minsan kunyari mga weekends to just take uh, like rest take some time off with myself and pamper myself and I'm really happy naman kasi there's no stress right now kasi tinutulungan ako ng family ko ng camp ko and also my team yeah. yeah. And it's really good to be mm -hmm. able to take care of yourself because yeah. sometimes girls tend to really overwork yeah. themselves. Na mm -hmm. hindi na fresh pagdating ng ano send off, di ba? Yeah. But you look really, really glowing, Josa guys. <laughs> Roan, di ba? Roan po yung nickname ko. Yeah. But you can call me Kanda. Just kidding. wow, <laughs> gusto ka yon. <laughs> about your pageant experience this mm -hmm. time so binibining Pilipinas because you have gone through a lot of pageants yeah, so I how was this one different you know what I'm gonna say this right now binibining Pilipinas is one of the most hardest competition that I, I've ever entered talaga that three month long journey of me and binibini tested my mental health I, I doubted myself I I usually am like carefree girl when it comes to joining pageants but in Binibini you can really see the dedication of a girl that wants to win not only for herself but for her country and I'm really grateful to have that experience to become one of the queens because it's gonna go on the history books of Binibini Binibini right. and it's something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Yeah mm -hmm. so can you tell us about the biggest challenge that you had to overcome nung pageant season of Bini mm -hmm. and the greatest lesson also that it taught you? Criticizing myself. Mm. Like, I, I I was in a state of like body dysmorphia, not eating too much. And you were one of the fittest yeah. girls <laughs> talaga. Yung alam mo, grape ang nipis and, niya. And I don't eat too much, but I work out every single day. And when it comes to trainings, I don't have any like free time for myself. Mm. So, and sinagad mo talaga. Sinagad ko talaga because I know that I'm going to win. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. And yung mindset ko noon. But you know what? The greatest lesson that I've learned from my mom is to take some rest. You need to take some rest and to clear your head every once in a while. Because then you will see your your passion and your your eagerness to, to win the crown. And after I won, I can see my performance. I was laughing a little bit because when I when I do my when I did my speech, my eyebrows tend to twitch, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that causes anxieties or yeah. maybe stress. So sinabi ko na lang sa kanila, um, it's my way of uh, persuading other people. Na parang di ba? M M M. Tapos enong nakita ko na yung mga videos of me like yung eyebrows ko nga, dun ako nalungkot, sabi ko, I, I, o I overdid myself this time. Mm. And ngayon, ang sabi nga ni Ate Samantha sa akin, just enjoy. Samantha Bernardo. Bernardo. Okay. Sinabi sa akin ni Ate Sam Samber, is just to enjoy the competition. Like, all of your hard work in your country, nagawa mo na yan. Mm. Nag-training ka na, and all you have to do is to perform and have fun. Doon makikita ng org yung gusto nila sa isang queen. At ayun naman yung ginagawa ko ngayon, nagte-train, but also having a me time naman every once in a while. Yeah, I think that's a very important thing to address right mm -hmm. now. Kasi I think there are a lot of uh, ladies who go through the same thing. Yung body yes. dysmorphia. Like, yes. for you, where did it root from? Like, 
Is it because you were so hard on yourself? You felt like you weren't enough? And then, how mentally speaking, paano mo kinailang, yun the importance sa kailangan mo malagpasan yun mm-hmm. and the new image that you uh, saw in front of you of yourself. Mm-hmm. Nag-start yun when I joined a pageant, my first ever pageant, because I was a chubby little girl. And you were how young? 15. 15, okay. I was 15 back then and all of the girls na nag-join ng mga pageants, kasamahan ko, sobrang payat, sobrang kinis, like they look so mature. And they were how old naman? <laughs> That's funny 15? because I was 15 back then, and mga kako-candidates ko is mga 25, yeah. 27, mga 23. And nung nakita ko yung mga katawan nila, sabi ko, sige magdadayat na ako. Kasi it's a pageant, you mm-hmm. have to look your best. Yeah. Tapos when I won nung first pageant ko, with my with my shape, mm-hmm. I felt super great. Mm-hmm. Tapos sabi ko sarili ko, okay, I'm not gonna lose weight just because I want to impress other people. I wanna lose weight because I want to be healthy. Pag nag-workout ka, nakiklear yung mind mo. Mm-hmm. And I started working out like at the age of 16 and up until now, I really, f- I, I really do feel good. Mm-hmm. Pero pag may mga times na hindi ako nakapag-workout, I tend to meditate naman mm-hmm. or do yoga. Pero what was that like when you were 15 and then you mga kasabay mo sa pageantry, mga 20 plus? So parang, when I was 15, my body was not even fully developed. Alam mo yun? So parang, it's so hard to like, not compare mm-hmm. yourself. Na parang, I need to be there na. Pero mm-hmm. syempre, you're, biologically speaking, it's not there yet. It's so not there yet. what's it like competing at that young an age? Grabe, ang daming uh, times na nag overthink ako. Mm-hmm. Kasi, Am I gonna win? I'm still 15. Parang hindi ako mananalo. And you know what? Dun sa, sa first pageant ko na yun, I have become more mature because I'm surrounded with people that like live a longer life than me. Tapos, kung ano man yung natutunan ko sa first pageant ko, I'm gonna instill it every single pageant that I enter. So, like having that experience at such a young age made me uh, like open my eyes into the world of pageantry kasi talagang hindi ganun kadali. <laughs> and yung mm. honestly, hindi talaga ganun I would say it's pageant. the hardest thing like someone could put themselves mm-hmm. through because uh, it's such a mental, physical, and yeah. emotional game. And there's a funny story. I really want to become a model. Mm-hmm. Like, it just so happens na nag-pageant ako and I thought like entering pageants would get me into become a like a model na talaga, mm-hmm. like professional model. Like my, I, I have to thank my dad kasi siya yung nag, nag uh, open sa akin dito sa pageantry. Yung daddy ko pa. Paano? <laughs> Paano yung nangyari? Nasa ano kami, nasa uh, parang events place. Mm-hmm. Tapos 40th birthday ng mom ko and sabi ng dad ko may mga models daw na, na nag-walk sa, sa taas, may basketball, basketball court. Mm-hmm. Tapos umakit ako. And right there, nakita ko sila naglakad and I feel like they're like, like walking into like clouds and parang angels sila. Para silang nag-glide lang. Nag-glide sila. Yeah. Tapos sabi ko, Papa, I really want to become like them. Mm. Tapos, tapos sabi ni Papa, okay, let's start tomorrow. So it was that epiphany for a mm-hmm. woman, di ba? Parang wow, yan. Yeah, ayun yung gusto ko. Pero before noon, hindi ako yung gantong prim and proper na babae. Like, I was boyish, mm-hmm. I'm really into sports, whatever my brother likes, gusto ko din. Mm-hmm. Competitive eater din ako, yeah. growing up, that's why... Same, same. <laughs> Until now, then. <laughs> Ayun. Kaya, Ay, ganun na sa tumawa ko ngayon. <laughs> kaya, natutuwa lang ako sa transformation ko. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang daming, yung mga relatives ko, hindi talaga nila alam na, Ay, kanya na pala si Inday. Mm-hmm. Well, ganun. Kaya, natatawa na lang Nag-bloom ako. Nag-bloom ka. Nag-bloom daw ako. Oh. Ano yung turning point na from model to pageants? Kasi magka, magkaiba sobrang yung magkaiba. Yun, eh. I really love pageants na because it's not always like you're walking in, like walking into high heels and on stage. You have to have a voice. Mm-hmm. And my, my also, one of my favorites then, aside from the swimsuit, is the Q&A. Because it really gets to like a girl speaking up into the microphone and telling her opinions and her beliefs as a person and what she wants to change in the society and what she hopes for. And I think that could be a really great impact 
in our generation and also the generation after us because right. it's really important for us to to have this voice that isn't like misleading in a way na talagang like all facts and we need to put this now as soon as possible that's why the I really, urgent feel yeah. yeah yeah that's why i really love pageantry right First pageant mo yung 15 years old ka, mm -hmm. and then you won ka agad, <laughs> despite being the youngest mm -hmm. that time. And then, since then, naging ano ka na, somewhat of a legend, because mm -hmm. you won every pageant yes. that you ever joined. Mm -hmm. As in lahat talaga, walang time na nagrunner up ka? Uh, may times na nagrunner up ako, pero I don't consider that as a defeat. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still, uh, like, a, a win for me. Definitely. Kasi, kasi I, 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 I limit ko lang yung join ko when it comes to teen pageants. Mm -hmm. I've only joined two teen pageants, okay. and that is Miss Teen Tourism and Miss Echo Teen Philippines. Mm -hmm. And um, when I joined ako in Miss Echo Miss Teen Tourism, I landed up being a first runner-up. Mm -mm. And I told my dad, I'm not sad. Yeah, I'm happy that I got like a first runner-up crown, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna learn from my mistakes in this pageant and turn it into something good. Mm -hmm. Turn it into a lesson that I can maybe uh, put into my my other co like pageants in the next few months. Dun sa Miss Echo Teen, uh, Miss Teen Tourism pala. Miss Teen Tourism, I joined three pageants in a month. Huh? Three pageants in a month. Paan? Because you need to? Or magkakaiba yun? Like, I landed up being first runner up sa Teen Tourism. So I joined Binibining QC. Okay. Binibining QC, I won and also I represented uh, uh, QC in Miss Speaking Philippines. And, and I landed first runner-up, so win-win um, situation for me because I get to experience three pageants in a month. Yeah, makikita mo talaga yung yung hirap. Nagisang mm -mm. kanila. So talagang masasabi natin ngayon na natest na po ang endurance at resilience ni Roberta Tamondo. <laughs> oh my god! Because I can't imagine that tatlo in one month. Grabe, mm -hmm. and hindi lang ako yun. Kasama ko din yung parents kasi since underage pa ako noon. Ooh. Sama ko yung parents ko sa Palawan, kung saan, ako, kung saan man ako pumunta sa mga two pageants ko pa. Kaya yung bond namin ng family ko, it's uh, indescribable kasi talagang yung bond namin talagang nag, it goes deeper. It's beyond words and it's beyond the actions that mm -hmm. we put into. Talagang, like, I really appreciate my family for being there with me. 100%. So, sa lahat ng pageants mm -hmm. ng sinalihan mo, napila mo ba kung ilan in total? Hindi ko pa siya napipila. <laughs> Pero ang dami. Ano yung pinaka-memorable ones that taught you the greatest lessons about yourself? Mm. Um, I joined Subaru 2019, I think. Last two years ago. I didn't get the crown there. And when I got to the backstage, there was a time that I wanted to cry mm -hmm. because I know that I didn't put my heart and my soul into like this pageant. Yung parang kumbaga, papaka carefree lang ako mm -hmm. because you know I'm gonna win. Alam ko yan. Parang complacent ka na like, ganon. Like, oh, mm. Tapos nung time na na nagperform na ako, I got the the best in long down, best in swimsuit. Mm -hmm. Then comes the Q and A. May sinabi sila like that pageant is has an advocacy and hindi ko siya naalala. Mm -hmm. And you know what, this so Q&A na yun, I, I thought to myself, right up, right during those moments, I should have done better. Mm -hmm. I should have, I should have uh, trained more, read more. And after that, my dad told me, don't cry. Mm -hmm. Because you have to learn from that experience. Don't, don't let anybody see you cry. Parang, just let it out when you come home and then do better next time. So grabe, when you tell me about your pageant journey, hindi nawawala yung parents mo dun sa picture mm -hmm. na yun. And seldom kasi makakita na ganun yung level of support ng parents yeah. for a pageant girl. Kasi it, hindi mo mabintang sila na they get worried because yeah. it's a scary place to be in. Mm -hmm. na now with social media, yes. diba? how do you protect your child from like, uh, no, yung mga criticisms online that mm -hmm. are not always constructive, yeah. diba? So, meron pa bang mga worries na ganun yung parents mo? And what, what, what were the best things they did to like shelter you from that somehow? Oh my gosh, I uh, remember this. Like a few weeks ago, like my dad 
like read a mean comment about me and I told him instantly I said, Papa, don't comment it, like don't comment on his post because we're just lang tayo and we're not that kind of person when it comes to mean mean comments I would just like to ask my parents sometimes parang you nating nan because social media can be a very very tough Harsh place, place. Yeah. and we need to have that safe space for us for our family to to not think about that kind of stuff in the comfort of our own home so what we do is to turn off our phone you know i cried every single night after that coronation night for a week sabi ko mag so social media detox muna ako kasi i deserve it palagi ako nag social media every day tapos nung nagpahinga ako like after after a week like the negativity didn't didn't affect me at all so okay nababasa ko yung comments nila but Hanggang dyan na lang sila. Yeah. You're not gonna hurt me. The person that's going to hurt me is myself. And I'm not gonna like burden myself every single day because of bad comments. I'm gonna turn it into, into something good. And maybe if I saw something that, oh, tama nga. Like, I, I need to change. I'm gonna train myself. I'm gonna work hard mm -hmm. on improving myself. Kaya, ayun yung mga natutunan ko din. Like, social media can be, you know, make or break din. Yeah. It's something. Kasi ikaw yung one of the girls na maingay talaga sa social mm -hmm. media and may concept talaga yung mga shoots mo. Yeah. So that all came with a cost. Yeah. Para mas talo kong na-appreciate. Mm -hmm. Grabe, pero hindi ko rin na-imagine if I'm joining a pageant now, tapos ganun ka na kayo gagastos. Oh. Ko, parang something has to change. Oh Kaya, God, talaga. one of the things talaga that made me motivated to want to win the crown is for my family talaga. Give them back everything that they've they've done for me, mga expenses man, like a sobrang dami. I don't know what to say, basta when the time is right, gonna pay them. I really love my family. Mm -hmm. If ever man, I will succeed in my future pageant journey. Lahat ng success ko, lahat ng mga kuha ko blessings, bibigay, babalik ko sa kanila. Kasi, joining a pageant really takes up a lot of money, mm -hmm. expenses, and Get this, since I was 15, I joined my pageants. pageants. 15, gumagastos na sila for me. Kaya, um, like, when the time is right, I'm gonna pay them back. And guys, tumichika kami kanina ni ano, Roan about yung mga expenses nga sa pageantry. And I remember doing this video before mm -hmm. on how much does it cost to join mm -hmm. a pageant. Kasi mm -hmm. parang, people don't realize how taxing it is yeah. on our end. Pero, no 2016, ang na pala, may inflation, like hyperinflation na sa pageantry. Mm -hmm. And nagulat ako sa mga kinailangang igastos ni yeah. Roan. Especially yung mga nakita niyong pasabog sa social media. So how did you feel when you were crowned Binibini Pilipinas Grand International? As you can see, no matter the reaction ko, I cried because hindi ko talaga inexpect. Hindi ko nakita nun kasi oh, no. nakaganon kami de ba oh. sa camera, so hindi namin nakikita yung girls. Oh, no. Cha we really review the results carefully. Wow! Bakatuto <laughs> 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 ba? talaga. Ito yung title de ba? Ito yung name. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, that hindi time. ko, hindi namin actually nakikita yung mga girls. And hindi namin kayo sobrang naririnig. Oh, really? Yeah, the acoustics were kind of, I don't know. But you know, that's the same exact thing that's happened to me nung Q&A. Mm. Didn't hear the question talaga at all. Tapos, that time, nung hindi ko na narinig, so, so, sumagot na lang ako. Mm -hmm. Kung ano yung narinig ko talagang parang yeah. tama. And that time, hesitant na ako. So, so what did you hear that time? So, um, non-essential. Non-essential? Non-essential yung narinig ko. Oh my god! <laughs> Sabi ko, I have to think it through. Non-essential that... Pinahirapan mo sarili ko. Oh, Oo, pinahirapan ko sarili ko. Tapos, tinawid ko na lang. Ayun yung nagawa ko. Tinawid ko na lang and then I was super hesitant. Although, I was excited with your answer. Nung simula. Mm -hmm. Parang kasi phone. Parang Ay, vintage yeah. phone. I was like, okay, nakakagulat yun. Where did that come from? Tapos sinabi ko, it came from, from my, my dad. My dad loves to collect vintage items, mm -hmm. vintage telephones, and growing up, I, I saw that collection of vintage items, and I just appreciated the history and what 
has become right now in technology and the importance of technology. I, I, I was meaning to say that, but you know, in the heat of the moment, <laughs> and the confusion, the confusion. I don't know what's what to say. What, what's right? But well, girls, if you don't get to hear the question, it's okay to ask the like. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear your question mm -hmm. properly. Or now I know. Mm -hmm. Can you please repeat it? Because yeah. you only get that one chance, and sometimes mm -hmm. you. Technical arrangements talaga, like mm -hmm. stereo is like, hindi nakatapat sa'yo, yeah. kung nakaganon. So, when I host, there were a lot of times na nakaganon yung stereo, like away from me. So I can't hear myself, like mm -hmm. I don't know how loud I actually am. So mm -hmm. there are technical aspects to this thing. Mm -hmm. So your real question was, that it was actually, nowadays, we often hear the word essentials. Mm -hmm. At this point in your life, what are the missing essentials and why do you say so? The missing essential, I think, is the people that have less in the society. The people that are, that have less, meaning like they don't have like food on their table, they can't provide for their family. I think that's one of the missing essentials that can cannot get them through in a day-to-day -day basis. And I just hope in the future years, the Filipino people will help them as well. Because having this kind of issue isn't, is one of our problems in today's society. And as a beauty queen, I tend to help them even more and pertain my, my charities in the future years and to live in a world where negativity and hunger for, for the minority isn't one of our problems. My reaction was really, I don't know feel it's unexpected because I didn't expect not to win. I know I was lacking with my performance, no Q&A, but when it comes to other things like my speech, like swimsuit and long gown, okay, I put on. But my favorite other than swimsuit is Q&A, and I felt like I didn't do enough again. I looked like in the right side of the stage, and there was my family. I said, I'm going to go to the Tapos sabi nila, no, no, you're gonna win, you're gonna win. Tapos I was about to cry, and they they were about to announce, natapos na yung second and first round up, Miss Grand Philippines. And I was hoping, nakaganun lang ako, and I was thinking, 40, 40, 40. 40 dapat, mm -hmm. kasi that was my number. Tapos nung sinabi talaga 40, hindi ako makapaniwala, I cried. Kasi the org, the judges, saw my potential. I, like hindi nagstop dun sa coordination na it. like pinaglaban din naman nila ako kahit pa paano they saw my capabilities then as a person and they know sinabi nga nila after coordination they know na kaya naman natin magibalik yung yung crown or magkaroon ng crown sa mm -hmm. Miss Grand International sabi nga sa akin ni Sir G ko ano yung yung aura mo nung during BDT times for the last 3 months Keep that aura, because mm -hmm. we love you. Mm -hmm. And I cried, na naman. You know, feeling ko cry baby na ako after that. I mean, you went through a lot. I went through yeah. a lot, talaga. Like the day before the lock-in, like na test talaga yung mental health ko noon. I locked myself in a room, and then I cried. I cried. Sabi ko, I don't know what to do. Am I doing this right? Like this is like some of the situations na hindi ko talaga sinasabi sa ibang tao but you know alam nila when it comes to my aura na na nafeel nilang mabigat yung dala ko. So was that the pressure? That was the pressure and also being like joining Bini Bini for the first time. Mm. I didn't know that it was this difficult talaga. Mm. Difficult good naman kasi at in the end the current ka man na current ka naman ng crown and ng friend. Yeah, mm -hmm. kasi last time si Sam Pan, mm -hmm. sobrang eksena, like me own show ang kanyang pag-reveal ng long gown niya. Yeah. So that was um, the what's different with her journey. Mm -hmm. Pili ko yun yung naging iconic for her. Mm -hmm. What do you think will be iconic for your journey? I think one of the things that will make my MGI journey iconic is that I'm gonna represent again the Philippines for the second time. And this second time around, there's no room for mistakes. What I've learned from the past years that I've joined pageants and learned from it, I'm gonna instill it into this pageant. I'm gonna pour all of my heart and soul in this pageant just to make the Filipinos proud. And also, 
I get to say this that I'm going to be independent finally I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do things in my own way you will see Roberta still still as she is but with a little twist mm. and I'm gonna do whatever it takes yeah I promise to win, to win. yes I can feel Roberta's determination mm -hmm. right now emanating from you Roberta are you ready for the question and answer portion yes <laughs> so, simplehan lang natin today para mm -hmm. light lang tayo. Pero, here's your first question. With all the adversity and conflict surrounding our world today, mm -hmm. kasi, di ba, stop the war, no, yeah. ano, advocacy na MGI, which one is the most urgent for you? The most urgent one for me is definitely Ms. Grant's advocacy to end war and violence. I must say, there's a lot of things happening globally with the war between Ukraine and Russia still relevant in the global community. I just couldn't like imagine the pain that the families are going through and what we can do to help them. The Philippines has been known to open its doors for refugees and to be a queen that, that speaks up when it comes to Certain, certain situations like this, I wish in the future that we can live in a situation where war and violence isn't one of our problems anymore. Thank you. I am like, stop the war speech. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. If this was asked um, in Miss Grand International 2018, mm -hmm. so if you were crowned the Miss Grand International tonight and you could choose one country for your first visit to run your first Stop the War and Violence campaign, which country would you choose and what would be your message to them? I really want to visit the places that I haven't been visiting to for the past years. Like, I want to visit Ukraine. I have a friend there in Ukraine and I've seen her situation, where she lives, and how she's feeling right now. And to, to win Miss Grand International tonight, that's the first country that I'm going through. Because the pain, the, the, the situation, the living situation of my friends and their loved ones in their country is unimaginable. We need to stand up, we need to, to say or even donate little things like food like tents shelters for them to to live in or to provide for them i think that's what that's one thing that i'm going to do because i couldn't imagine living in that situation without any resources or even a home to live in you know that's real i have a friend in in ukraine and like before she was living her best life and yet and right now like I can see her struggles and up until now I'm still scared because I can't contact her anymore mm -hmm. because there's still bombs, there's still rockets flying off her over their house and you know after, after this if I have just the money and also the savings that I got I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there and also maybe donate things or even if she has a visa like a passport, I will let her into my home for the meantime because she's such a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. I'm How did you meet her? Miss Eggleton. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you know, I just, I just wish her all the best for her safety and her family's safety. I wish you all the best, mm -hmm. Roberta. I know you're gonna do really wonderfully, mm -hmm. especially with everything that you have already achieved. Mm -hmm. Since you were 15 years yeah. old, I hope that this will be the culminating event yeah. for you. Like it's gonna be your biggest battle so far because who knows, you're still so young. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Emily. And good luck and please, Support Roberta. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for all of your love and support. I'm going to be competing in a few days in Bali, Indonesia, and Jakarta on October 4th. And I hope you guys still vote for me and all of their social media platforms in Miss Grand International, Facebook, IG, YouTube. Guys, you name it. Please like or comment 
or even share it naman because the points really matters and also this is our way of saying thank you and to perceive and go for the golden crown in October 25 so guys please do vote for me thank you and I love you so that wraps it up for today's grand episode. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And if you like this one, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't have to miss an episode.